Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 95. That is, what is pesticide paradox? Let me answer. Pesticide paradox is one of the principles of software testing. In software testing, there are different principles. As you can see here, these are the different principles we have in software testing. They are testing shows the presence of bugs this is the first principle. Then we have exhaustive testing is impossible, which is the second principle. Then early testing is the third principle. Testing is context dependent is fourth principle. Defect clustering is fifth principle. And uh, sixth principle is pesticide paradox, okay, that I'm going to answer in this section. That is pesticide paradox is the sixth principle. And finally, we have the last principle of uh, software testing, that is absence of error fallacy, okay? This is the last principle. So pesticide paradox is one of the principles of software testing, but what exactly this principle says, okay? What exactly this pesticide paradox principle says? So according to the pesticide paradox, if the same set of test cases are executed again and again over a period of time, this test, that is a test case test, won't be capable enough to identify the new defects in the software. Okay, let me explain you clearly what's happening. Let's say the developers have given you the version one of the software. Okay, developers have given you the version one of the software. Then you have started testing this uh, version one using some test cases. Okay, so you have created some test cases. Using the test cases, you, you have verified the functionality. You, you just checked or tested the functionality of this particular version one of the software. And as a result, you got some defects. Let's say you got some uh, 15 defects here. Okay, you got some 15 defects, assume. Now, the developers uh, have to fix these defects and uh, they gave you another version of the software, okay? So with the fixes, with the defects fixes that, you have, that the testers have reported earlier, developers have fixed them and they added some new functionalities, updated the existing functionalities, again gave another version of the software for testing and again, you are using the same document, okay? The same test cases document you are using. The same test cases document you are using here for testing this version two of the software. This time, surprisingly, you didn't get 15 defects, you got only 10 defects, okay? The defect count was reduced a bit, let's assume. Now, again, the developers have fixed this defect and uh, they have given you another version of the software having the latest code changes the defects fixes, code changes, uh, any other stuff like uh, updation of the code, whatever it is, okay? And they gave you another version of the software. Again, again, the software testers have used the same set of test cases to test this particular version three of the software. This time, the software testing team only got five defects, okay? With the help of this particular document, they were able to identify only five defects, okay? In the first version, they were able to identify 15, then 10 defects, then five defects, and, uh, Again, the developers have fixed these defects and they did some code changes and they gave you the another version of the software. Let's say this is an example, guys, okay? It's ideally, it may happen like this, but it, in real time, the numbers will be different, okay? Now, again, the testing team is using the same test cases, same set of test cases to test this particular version of the software. This time, they only got some two defects, okay? And again, the process continued where the development team has given the version five of the software with the code changes and code fixes and defects fixes, etc. And uh, again, the testing team has used the same set of test cases for testing. And this time, the testing team didn't find any defects, okay? Zero defects. No matter how many versions came after this, version five, version six, version seven, uh, the test cases were unable to identify the defects in the software. Because the problem here is, this is what is pesticide paradox, guys, okay? If the same test cases, okay, if the same set of test cases are repeatedly used for testing the different versions of the software over a period of time, okay, again, again, if the testing team is using the same set of test cases for testing, so these test cases won't yield any new defects, okay? The defects will be lost. Uh, you'll not be able to identify new defects. What's the problem? The problem is that there are no defects in the software. It's not about Still version five has more defects, but testing team is unable to find the defects with the help of the test cases, okay? Version five has some defects, but testing team is unable to identify the defects with the help of test cases because the problem here is test cases are not updated, okay? So if the test cases are not updated and the same set of test cases are being used for testing the different versions of the software over a period of time, over a period of time, this uh, same set of test cases will not yield you the defects. Even though there are defects in the software, the test cases will not be able to identify the defects in the software. That is the problem. 
and this is called as pesticide paradox the only solution for this uh, for avoiding this problem pesticide paradox problem is to resolve this problem we need to review continuously review and update the test cases okay we should not be using the same set of test cases for each and every version we have to update the test case here here we have to use we have to update the test cases add new test cases modify the existing test cases and we have to keep on improvising the test cases and adding more tests to this particular test cases okay like the software version changes the test case version also should change so that the defect identifying process will continue okay so this is what is pesticide paradox problem where if you are using the same set of test cases without updating them but testing the different versions of the software over a period of time the test cases will not yield, yield you any new defects in the software okay even though there are defects in the software the test cases will not help you in identifying the problems in the software the to resolve the problem we need to review and update the test cases continuously okay so that the test case will be still able to identify the defects so hope guys you understood what is pesticide paradox problem so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye